Good morning, guys. Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And I look like a bum. Wow. But in all seriousness, we are out here today because the green monster has had a transmission issue and it's going to have to get fixed by the dealer. And for those that said the black mamba was gone, it's right there. We will be driving it at some point later today. And our giveaway winner is actually coming to pick this thing up in two days. So I am looking forward to doing the delivery video on the Chrysler Aspen. So stay tuned for that. And then we have this piece of shit. And I don't know what we're going to do with it yet. Um, I'm definitely going to cut. We are going to cut the cat off and see if it makes it run better. But I think regardless, even if I cut the cat off, like this thing is just so far gone. Like maybe we'll do some fun stuff with it. Like poor WD-40 in the crankcase and stuff like that. We'll see. Uh, but I need coffee. So let's get our day started. Damn, the Black Mamba just looks like an absolute beast. You know, it's just like when you're away from a vehicle for a little bit, you start to appreciate it a little bit more. And I, uh, I can't wait to get back behind the wheel of this thing today. But today, I am driving the Ram. So let's get it going. <sighs> this is so luxurious and satisfying and just quiet. I know, totally opposite. Totally different from the uh, Challenger, but uh, let's let her warm up a few minutes and then we'll uh, hit the road. Oh, man. So I know I got my fold open, rolling down the road, listening to the news, trying to figure out who won the election. Who knows? Who knows who won the election? I guess we'll find out soon, right? But, um, anyways, I'm not here rolling in the Ram. And I gotta be honest, I really, really, really love this truck. Like, I mean, it's ridiculous. Just absolutely ridiculous. How just clean, smooth, and luxurious this thing is, man. I mean, it's... It's ridiculous. It's clean, man. And it's quick. It's pretty peppy, man. It's not a... It's definitely not slow. I've had multiple people tell me like, Ah, oh, man, you should have got a, a 2500 or whatever. You know what? Yeah, a diesel would have made more sense. But to be honest, the Rebel and the luxury tier of this with the heated and cooled seats and the everything, man. You know, the, the heated steering wheel, just the leather everywhere. Just how just smooth this is. And it's a truck that doesn't really ride extra trucky. Now, there's people that have like, uh, I'll give you an example. Like the Toyota Tundra rides real trucky. I, I had one and I liked it. I like the, the feel of a truck truck. And that's not to say like this drives like a car. It doesn't. It, you can tell it's a truck. You're up high. You have that angle of attack. And it's just, I, I don't know, man. I just really like the way this thing feels. I just do. Um, it is working, you know, exceptionally, uh, exceptionally well for me, man. I mean, it just does what it's uh, supposed to do. Yeah, I have my radio uh, toggling back and forth between CNN and Fox News. So you can hear both sides talk about who won and all that good stuff. I don't know, man. I don't know when this video gets published or if we're going to know who it is that actually won. But, eh, whatever. So off, I'm still off to get coffee. I go to a, a local coffee place all the way up here on Rayford Road. So it's going to take me a, a while to get there. So, um, you know, support your local businesses. But let's get it. We're not going anywhere yet, even though they towed this out. The, uh... Challenger actually has to the scat pack has to go to the dealer. Um, I don't know for some reason you know it was a there was a faulty faulty transmission part that has to be fixed. I, I don't know why it would be faulty. I have no I have no idea. But uh, let's get a cold start in. start on the mom. 
Bamba, huh? Been a while. for a drive today. Now, I want to come out here and see what this damn Mitsubishi is going to do. If it's going to start or if it's going to be a royal pain in my ass. So, uh, not every day you get to see attack helicopters flying overhead. Love that. Anyways, let's see what she starts. I don't think it will, but we'll give it a shot. I mean, it does have a brand new battery. Right, let's see if she makes any difference, huh? Look at that. Fires up and purrs. Look at that. You hear that little bit of a rattle, right? Do you hear that? Almost like a, like something is spun. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, she wasn't doing this before, but she's smoking now. Oh, boy. Yeah, I would say uh, the motor's probably shot then. Uh, I don't think it's a catalytic converter issue if it's smoking like that. Oh, yeah, you can smell the oil. Oh, yeah, she's burning oil. Yep. So I probably got a bad rod or a bad bearing. Is it worth fixing? Hell no. Let's see if we can smoke it up a little bit. <laughs> Say it with me. I'm an asshole. <laughs> Yo, the neighbor's got to be like, yeah, what the fuck is that smell? <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm done. Uh, if you want a good laugh, go look for it. There's a song on YouTube by Dennis Leary. It's a video. It's a whole thing. It's called I'm an Asshole. Definitely go check that out. Yeah. All right. Well, that answers my question. So the motor's done. So what should we do with this, guys? God damn. Look, it's smoking everywhere. Should I blow it up? And what I mean by that is, do I put like a bunch of WD-40 in the crankcase and we redline it and see what happens? Um, do we demolition derby this? Like I know Randy has a couple cars he's trying to find something out to do with. Do I put this on a trailer and take it to Oklahoma and then get we do a demolition derby? You know? Maybe even maybe we do a demolition derby with some subscribers. We just have to find some land and have people bring out their shit boxes for a cash prize i don't know let me know what you guys think ideas in the comment section down below are huge um and i need them because i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with this because i can't sell it i could scrap it i could scrap it and get my money back from what i made on the video on it already if i scrap it i break even i, I don't lose a dime but i think i make more if i destroy it <laughs> <laughs> or do i take the tahoe and i see if i can run it over with the tahoe if you want to see the Black Mamba run over the... See, I might wreck the Black Mamba too. Hey, whatever. Screw it. <laughs> or do we tie the Ram to the frame on the rear and the Tahoe to the frame on the front and we do a tug of war and see who can rip the car in half? Hmm. I don't know. So many ideas. So many ideas. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, and we are in something you haven't seen on the channel in a while, the Black Mamba. Now, there's going to be a video coming up on the Black Mamba soon where we're going to be doing something uh, different with this truck. Um, we're actually going to be giving this thing away. That means lifted, all set up, you know, with the new leather seats and everything. We're going to be giving this truck away. But there's no way I could give away this truck without at least getting it to 50,000 miles, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get it to that exact point and get it to those 50,000 miles because we're running out to the store to take care of something. You can see here we're at 
49.975. And then I got to give you guys the 50,000 mile review of what I think about this Chevy Tahoe after 50,000 miles and kind of an extended review. Now, believe it or not, I bought this truck in January at the shit show start of 2020. And um, I drove it from the East Coast to the West Coast, back to the West Coast, to the North. It's hit probably almost every state, except maybe the Dakotas, Montana, and Wyoming. It's been pretty much everywhere. Um, it's been fairly reliable. Power Steering Punk catastrophically failed early. Uh, but that was a TSB and warranty we took care of that. Uh, what else? My sister Duke's a hazard the truck. If you don't remember that, there's a video. If I can get the clip, I'll put it in here too. But she basically jumped the truck and broke my suspension. And I didn't know until I took it back to get in an alignment back up here in North Carolina. And they were like, oh yeah, by the way, your suspension is shot. Yes, I know. It wouldn't be me if I wasn't driving my truck and I wasn't completely out of gas. Uh, it's been sitting, and basically, as I've been out of town, I have the OnStar app, so I've been remote starting uh, the truck. I actually bypass the thing, because you're only supposed to be able to remote start it twice. Um, but to condition my battery, or make sure it wasn't dead, and even though I did that, the battery still acted like it didn't want to start, um, I went ahead and I just remote start it, like, twice a week, and let it run for the full 15 minutes, and then cut off. Well, I've been doing that for well over a month the truck is literally just sat i've done nothing with it um it has been not it has not been driven for almost a month at least so it's nice to come out today and uh you know drive the mamba and god i forgot how much how comfortable like i'm up in here how comfortable i am in this not to say and here's the thing not to say that the challenger is not comfortable the green monster is comfortable, but it's just not this. This is like a mobile command center. And this is one of the reasons why, you know, like I want to do a giveaway on this truck, but I, it's going to hurt me so much to want to give this away that I don't know. I've had multiple people hit me up and say, TK, you should do a merch giveaway. Like you should, you know, put up some new merch uh, for the green monsters or you know, do a merch giveaway on both of your channels and, uh, or maybe partner with a couple channels with multiple people's merch and sell the truck that way. Like get rid of the truck that way. I thought about it. You guys can let me know what you guys think about that idea in the comments below, but I don't know, man. I kind of feel, I mean, granted we've given away what three, four, five, six, seven cars on the channel this year. Um, and what probably eight thousand or so in cash between cash and gift cards and stuff so we've given a lot away for nothing but being a subscriber so if you got here late if you just subscribed today and you're like damn man i missed out to do they don't gave away a bunch of cars and money and yeah but we're still gonna do that but i don't know let me know what you guys think about me doing a merch giveaway for uh the black mamba in the comment section uh down below you know i like i said it's not something i'm set on at all um but i mean i'd be open to it i guess it would just depend you know just depends but anywho's i gotta go in here first we're gonna go over here to the murphy express and get some gas because any gas is cheap right now and you know what this thing takes that's right say it with me 87 i ain't gotta put premium in it <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and get that done. Let's go ahead and get some gas and stuff in it, and then we'll continue on with my day. And then we'll tell you, I'll give you guys my thoughts and impressions on this truck after 50,000 miles. This, guys, if you're new to the channel, is the Black Mamba. Now, the Black Mamba has been on my channel since January of this year, before all of the madness of 2020, we had this truck. But just like all the rest of you that have had drama and issues in 2020, I did too. You see, I didn't get this Tahoe because I wanted it. I got this kind of as a consolation after my 2020 Chevy Silverado diesel, similar to like a, a Dodge Eco diesel, a Duramax 3.0 blew up. 
it blew a head gasket and blew some coolant stuff and uh that was a wrap i didn't even have to lemon law it out gm just took it back we didn't even finish the deal on the truck consolation prize the tahoe this tahoe retailed at fifty two thousand dollars, and i was out the door at the dealership in las vegas with this truck for 39.8 that's right i got it below sticker um because the dealer's wife had put a couple hundred miles on it or whatever uh but never been titled so first titled owner is that a bug i'm looking right now i'm like please tell me that's a bug okay i thought that was a dent first titled owner of this truck what did i do to it well the first thing i did was cut the muffler out we did that in oklahoma city mid muffler delete resonator is still on there and we put a four inch pipe in the section where the muffler is and that's why this thing sounds like an absolute friggin beast it's got a low gurgling sound and you guys will get to hear it in a minute when we do some drive-bys and stuff with this but um what else did we do well we added a leveling kit now we added i think it was four inches on the front or was it three and a half no it's three and a half inches i'm sorry three and a half inches on the front and three inches on the rear which did what leveled out the truck made it more so that instead of the front end because the 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 angle of attack on these tahoes kind of sits like this right now it sits up like a truck and with it lifted a little bit higher now the goodyear duratrax that came on this truck performed great i liked them they they did exactly what i wanted them to do and had really no issues now one of the things that did happen with this truck was i wanted to go bigger you know as i say go big or go home right i wanted to get meatier beefier tires and we were looking at 305s on this and they just didn't fit so without rubbing and i didn't want to do any cutting or any of that other you know backyard bs that people do so i could i got these firestone destination mt2s and the tire size on these were 285 65 18s so bigger than the 265s that were previously on there so it's a wider tire in my opinion it's a much meatier tire and we've had these on for maybe 2,000 miles maybe maybe about 2,000 miles now 2,500 miles and they've been great we drove it all the way down to Florida no problems drove it back I've had it all over the place and had no issues with it and they look damn aggressive they look beautiful if you ask me any issues that i've had with the truck well only issue i had was when we had a power steering pump like in the first couple weeks uh explode and it was a known issue and it was under warranty so gm replaced it, it took a couple hours they replaced the pump and we called it a day any issues since then and that would be a big fat no uh engine modifications have i made any yes one we put on a k and n cold air intake which you can see comes in here all right you can see that cold air intake there which it looks like i need to clean because it looks it looks a little dirty i ain't gonna lie it looks a little dirty i might have to take this out and clean it but you can see the motor it looks super clean the engine bay i take very good care of my vehicles okay um, brake fluid and everything looks good everything looks good in here man the truck is an absolute beast Ooh, there's some dirt and stuff up here we're gonna have to clean that out but this truck is an absolute beast I, like I, I can say i really have no complaints in the almost year of ownership that i've had this truck it's been pretty much flawless now i say that now there's been like little quirks little bs with the radio and other things that have happened but the truck overall has been great now how does it sound how does it perform can you play with it let's find out
So overall, this truck performs exactly how I want it to, right? And no, some people will say, is that a four wheel drive Tahoe? No, it's not. It's a pavement princess, if you want to call it that. Though I've taken it off road, you just have to know how to drive, man. If you know how to drive it, you can take the damn thing off road and it will handle it like a champ. You can go through the bushes, into the weeds, through the soft sand, and she just takes punishment and it just drives and it just moves and it's great. And you don't get stuck, you just gotta feather the throttle. You have to know what you're driving through. And that's about it, man. It's a great truck. I have thoroughly enjoyed this thing, man. I really have. And when you get into the soft stuff, you can kick a little, kick a little dust up. <laughs> Anyways, so there you have it. I mean, I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the Black Mamba. And I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it until we either give it away or do something else. And I'm going to do more stuff with it on the channel. Now that we have it, yes. And yes, I am out here tearing up tearing up grass man and i enjoy it and i love these new tires the off-road feel of this truck is just amazing and it's not an off-road truck man it's not but she just handles it and she just takes punishment and just takes abuse and i love it so what's the final verdict on the black mamba or you know a chevy tahoe in general you could pick up an ls right now or an lt for sub 30 grand you could probably pick up an ls like a super base model for about 28 with very low miles do a couple modifications like a lift nice set of tires and leather your seats and you could be balling out on a budget and have a truck that's going to last you for a while now a couple different things on this truck that absolutely does suck active fuel management if you get one that is a 20 or a 19 Unfortunately, even with the little in-range tuners, unless you take it to a professional shop and they tune it out, you will not delete active fuel management. Tell me about it. I've bought the Diablo. I've bought the CS2. <laughs> like I've bought so many different tuners. None of them delete active fuel management. Called cars across the country. The Jetta, the Oldsmobile. Uh, we even pulled the Challenger with this for a little bit. Um, this thing tows like nobody's business and I have no issues with the transmission and I just tow my ass off with this thing um, And it's been great So TK you mentioned that you're going to be doing a giveaway on this. Yes Just like uh, the winner of our Aspen is coming to pick this thing up At the time I'm filming this is two days from now. So probably by the time you see this video, this is already going to be gone um, but Yes, that one will be gone. Um, and then we're going to do a giveaway on this. Now, I just haven't decided yet what we're going to do. Are we going to do a merch style type of giveaway? Because this is not like any vehicle we've given away on the channel before. I mean, the Aspen wasn't cheap. You know, the Aspen was probably worth, what, six, seven grand. You know, T-Rose gave away the Lincoln Navigator. That was probably another five, six grand truck plus 5,000 in cash. This is a little different. This one... I could take the CarMax right now and they cut me a check for about 30 grand, okay? So, the return on investment, I mean, here's the thing. We could set, we could make it where it is not based on buying merch, but would have to hit like, we could either do it by merch or we could do it by hitting a subscriber count amount. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below because I could be like, you know what, when we hit you know, 75,000 subscribers will give away the Black Mamba. And then how long is it going to sit? You know what I'm saying? Or I could say, hey, we're going to do a 60-day merch giveaway or a, a merch, um, you know, you know, buy a certain amount of merch, you know, a dollar for every dollar there's an entry type of thing, and then give this away with cash so you can cover your taxes in your state uh, when you buy it because you're going to pay taxes on it. Don't get it twisted. Um and do that i mean that's a possibility i don't know i'm open to i'm 100 percent open to what you guys think let me know what you guys think in the comments below but i definitely want the black mamba to go to a subscriber and a good home well there you have it all right guys there you have it if you like today's video and uh, you like what i do make sure to give it a big thumbs up 
the 50,000 miles that I've had in the Black Mamba or the Tahoe, um, like Chevy has burned me. I'm, I'm not going to lie. GM, just bad experiences all the way around. Everything that I've seen my dude Randy go through, myself with my Silverado. Um, little issues I've had with this, but nothing major. The Tahoes are kind of reliable. But like I was saying, active fuel management sucks. And if you care about that, um, you know, you have to tune it out. The new Tahoes, I highly don't recommend. Push button transmission, like this is the last generation and style Tahoe in 19 and 20 that I would recommend that you buy and take it directly to a professional shop, tune out the active fuel management so you don't have valve issues at 100,000 miles, and then drive this thing to the wheels fall off because the 5.3 in this thing or the 6.2, if you get the RST, are unbeatable engines. They're just monsters. They're, it's a great truck. I mean, it is a great, great truck, and I highly recommend the Tahoe. I love it. It's it, It's been one of my favorite trucks of all time. I've had Suburbans and stuff in the past and the Tahoe as well, and it, it's one of my favorite vehicles I have ever owned, ever. That's more than like some of my BMWs, the, the Gallardo I had, the all the crazy cars, the Tahoe is in my top three for sure. I love it, it's just been, it's been a great vehicle. Um, the new ones, like I said, Hennessy Performance can't even mess with it yet. You can't tune them, you can't do anything. They're a mess. Is is it going to get better later? Maybe like next year's generation or whatever? Possibly. But that whole push button thing, and I know you're going to say, but you like the RAM and the RAM has a, a knob to shift. I know. I don't like that either. But I don't know, man. Just It feels like they're pussifying the Tahoe and the Suburban by making it push button. It's not a Lincoln Continental. It should have a damn shifter in it. But I guess you have to go buy a police version to get one of those. Anyways, guys, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let me know what you guys think how we should give away the Black Mamba because as you can see, I mean, this one will be gone in a couple of days. I have no more room for my cars here. I have the Ram, the Mazda, the Toyota, the Challenger. I mean, even the Mitsubishi is back there and the BMW back there. I got too many cars sitting here. I gotta, I gotta move them out. I gotta get them out. So, um... I feel bad neglecting the truck and letting it sit here and I will try to enjoy it. I will try to take it to Copart, you know, in the next few videos or something maybe. But um, I think one of my subscribers would enjoy this truck a lot more. Mm. Let me know what you guys think.